Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. I want you to think about that a little bit. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. There's no way I can possibly do what I do alone. It's very hard for all of us to do what we do alone. That is my beautiful family, my husband Jay, my two kids, Annabella and Gabriella. As I was preparing for this presentation, I was getting a little frustrated. Oh, I've only got 12 minutes, and there's no way I can tell them everything I want to tell them in 12 minutes. My daughter, Annabella, who was 11, came up and she took me by the face and she looked at me right in the eyes and she said, Mommy. I said, What? She goes, All I expect from you is, is I don't expect from you a perfect performance. I expect a perfect effort. I thought, oh, oh, out of the mouth of babes. She said, please don't use that word, out of the mouth of babes. I said, well, I'm going to, because you'll always be my baby. Needless to say, I thought about that, a perfect performance. I don't need that. I need a perfect effort. That's what I'm trying to teach in my life. Obviously, my husband and I are doing something well. We're doing something right. Our children, they're good people. You teach them to be good people. You teach them to do their best at whatever they can do help others, be kind, be good. That's all we can expect from them. But yep, the perfect effort. So here we go. All of my life, I could not stand the thought of a child, let alone anybody, who would starve to death, let alone not be able to have a drink of clean water. If you're holding, who's got a bottle of water out there? Think about that bottle of water. Now, when I met Richard today, he says he's the short, fat guy with the bald head with the white shirt. <laughs> well, really? Amazing what he does. And I can't believe that his idea and my idea, one day we're going to get these ideas together, and we are going to impact so many more people than we already do, just the two of us. Remember that alone? We can do so little together. We can do so much. My idea, his idea, we put it together. Ho, oh, ho, watch out, world. Here we come. What are you passionate about? What is something you have an idea about? I know you're longing to do something. What is it? What is it? Do you like to play the piano? Do you like to use photography? Do you like to get up and talk in front of people? What is it that you like? Do you like to sew? Do you like to cook? Do you like to play ice hockey? Think about what it is right now what you're passionate about. Next year, I want to see you on this stage telling me about your idea. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. I spent most of my life feeling like I wasn't good enough. I did not fit in. When I was in high school, I tried out for the track and the cross country team. And as I stood there waiting with all of the other people who had tried out for the team to see if I made the team, I heard this, Smith, I'm like, you didn't make the team, you're too slow. What? I'm, you know, what am I, 13 years old, freshman in high school, I didn't make the team. Went home, I was in tears, told my mom I didn't make the team, had my tail between my legs, I was devastated. Devastated I didn't make the team. We're gonna fast forward to college. It's a long way, went through high school, all the way through college. My last year of college, my roommate said to me, hey, Lisa, you want to go run this 5K turkey trot race with me? And I thought, what's a 5K turkey trot? Well, 5K is 3.1 miles. Turkey trot, it was the Friday before Thanksgiving, the week before we got to have the week off um, to go home after that. I said, no, no, I'm not going to go with you. I'm too slow. I'm no good. You know, I came up with every excuse in the book why I wasn't going to go. Come on, Lisa, please, come with me. It'll be fun. I'm like, what's going to be fun? She goes, well, you can watch. It'll be fun. OK, next morning, I got ready. I went with her. Was not dressed for running. Didn't even own running shoes at the time. As I'm standing around and all of these beautiful people are checking in for this race, the 5K turkey trout race, I notice there's people of all shapes and sizes, people from all walks of life. Who looks like a runner? Did they look like a runner? I didn't know. Needless to say, a volunteer in an orange shirt came up to me and said, have you signed up for the race yet? I said, no, I'm no good. I'm too slow. I didn't really say that. That's what I was thinking. I said, no, I didn't sign up. I'm just here to watch. 
And the volunteer said, well, why don't you sign up? And I said, well, why? He said, because all of the money gets donated to the local food bank. That hit a trigger in me. The money gets donated to the local food bank. Next. Well, guess what? I didn't have any money with me. My roommate says, Lisa, it's only 10 bucks. I'll loan it to you. So, 10 bucks to run 5K turkey trot? What are you kidding? So, 10 bucks, all right, it's going to the local food bank. How great is that? I stand in line, I sign up for the 5K turkey trot race. Here I go. Starting line. Standing there, I think I had cowboy boots on, if you want the truth. I wasn't really ready to run, but it was a 5K turkey trot race, and I paid 10 bucks, and it's going to the local food bank, which made me over the moon. I was helping somebody else. The gun went off. I was like, what? You know how your heart's stopping? Kind of when I got told I was too slow and no good. I felt that way, but I felt on fire that time. I ran and I ran, da 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 da. Didn't have any music with me at the time, but there was music in my ears. I'm telling you. Crossed the finish line of that 5K turkey trout race, hearing all this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You won, you won, you win a turkey, you win, you win. I'm like, who are they talking about? Who are they talking about? It was me. I won. You've got to be kidding. The slow one, that was no good. 18 minutes, I won the darn turkey trot. Remember that turkey? Woof. I won a 20 pound turkey over Thanksgiving. I flew home with that turkey on the airplane, gave it to my mother and said, remember that coach? Remember that guy? Well, you never tell anybody ever that they're not good. Never, never. Are you thinking about that passion I asked you about? You too can change the world or your community. This room right here, every one of you has an idea. My idea started with a 20 pound turkey. Yep, here we go. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Hmm? You know what's coming, don't you? You know, most people just decide on a Monday. What's today? Today's Saturday. Monday. I'm going to make that call to my mom. The call, you hear what I'm saying? Call, remember what Mike said? We're not going to text your mom, we're going to call. If you're gonna call somebody, you're gonna tell somebody what your idea is on Monday. Monday, I'm gonna call the dentist to make that appointment. Monday, I'm going to do what? Well, Monday has come and gone, you didn't do it. All right, so you're writing down for the next Monday. Next Monday, I'm starting that diet. Five weeks of Mondays, five months of Mondays, five years of Mondays, 20 years of Mondays. And you still haven't made that phone call. You're still waiting. I know lots of people. That's why I say 20 years of Mondays. No way. Today. Today is the day. Today is your day to be awesome. That passion we were starting to talk about is yours. You are going to think about it tonight, and when you leave, you're going to pick up the phone and call somebody. If you have to send an email, you will, but tell them about your idea. For me, my passion is running. When it started with that turkey man, I ran and I ran, and I've run a lot. And I don't run for myself. I've won so many races, I can't even tell you how many I won, but they never were important to me. What's important to me is these kids. Anybody who doesn't have access to food, anybody who dies of starvation or doesn't have clean water. Without water, you die. Without food, you die. The two of them together, you live, but you need help. I decided I would run one mile for 1,000 kids. For my 50th birthday, I ran 50 miles in 50 states, 50 miles a day, yes, it's 2,500 miles. We raised almost a million dollars. This last year, I ran 584 miles through Death Valley from the lowest point in the continental United States to the highest point in the continental United States, Mount Whitney. It was hot, very hot. Average, good, or great, your choice. I'm an average golfer. I'm a good cook. If I wanted to be a great golfer or a great cook, what would it take? 
it would take a lot of time, a lot of dedication, a lot of patience, a lot of practice. Over and over and over, I'd have to go to the golf course and swing that golf ball. I don't feel like doing that. I'm okay with being an average golfer. I'm okay with that. But to be great, to achieve greatness in life, what does it take? A lifetime, a lifetime of work. Greatness is a lifetime of work. My choice is to be an average golfer, a good cook. I want to be a great mother, a great wife, a great sister, a great daughter, a great friend, mentor, coach. I want to be a great giver of the world to help my community, to help you come up with your idea, as someone helped me when I ran that 5K turkey trout race that day. Your choice, what's it gonna be? I felt the Moroccan sand under my feet. I've run many miles through the Sahara Desert. I felt the harshness and brutality of Death Valley in July. 128 degrees was the high this year, 30 degrees at the summit of Mount Whitney. I felt the freezing cold of the winter months, because why? You might ask me why. Because I can. Because I can and I choose to. I am no extraordinary person. I'm an ordinary person. I eat steak, cheeseburgers, I do it all. I choose to do something extraordinary that makes me feel good. Giving to others, helping others, helping my community, and let alone helping the world. I know if I can help one kid, I make a difference. Do you realize that if you come up with your idea and you even just help the guy sitting next to you, you're making a remarkable impact and a remarkable difference. It takes a team of people. When you make that call about your idea, and you believe me, people want to help you. It takes a team of people. When I ran through Death Valley this summer, I would have died without a team of people. A team of people to help me, give me water, who encouraged me, who believed in me. You all have a team of people. You start with your friends and your family. It grows from there. Ask for help. Greatest lesson I've learned in my life to this day, ask for help. Here I am, I'm gonna save the world. Every kid, I'm gonna save every kid in the world. Until I realized I couldn't. There's no way, you can't. But you can do what you can do. Ask for help. Greatest lesson I've ever learned. If you don't ask for help, you are not giving people an opportunity. They're missing an opportunity. Lisa, can I help you? I don't need any help. How can I help? Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I don't need any help. The answer is, yes, you can help me. And if you ask somebody to help you and they say no, that's okay, you're gonna get some no's. But you're gonna get more yeses. And how great is it to have all those other people believe in your passion? and your belief and your idea to come on board with you. Ask for help. One of my favorite mottos, strong, fit, and beautiful. Strong, fit, and beautiful. I run, man, I'm strong, fit, and beautiful. You're strong, fit, and handsome. It's not about running for everybody. For me, it is. I love to run. I'm on top of the world. Hey, you heard that song? My favorite song when I'm running, I'm on top of the world. What are you going to do that's going to put you on top of the world? When I finished running, fell to my knees this summer in July, no finish line take needed, no finish speech was needed, it was me and my crew, and that was it. It's about them, it's about her. It's about her, it's about others. It's about finding your own dream and chasing it down and not ever believing that you can't do it. Because you can. Find a dream, chase it down. Passion equals purpose, equals idea, and please, start today, not next Monday. Thank you.